Well, they are the ones we call for help. But tonight, public safety officers in Centerline certainly could use your help catching the vandals that destroyed their training equipment. Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has that story. The men and women of Centerline's Public Safety Department come in every day ready to protect and serve. The officers here work both police and fire, and they train throughout the year. But now they need a new training facility. Through the fence, you can see the charred remains of an important tool once used by Centerline's Public Safety Department. It's been destroyed by fire. This is our training facility. We do both police and fire training here. The building that, that has burned. The building went up in flames March 10th. Police aren't certain if it was intentionally set or an accident, but the structure will have to be torn down and rebuilt. But the damage doesn't end there. A few days after the fire, vandals took aim at a storage building used as a firearms range, damaging part of the awning. And then they returned this past weekend to continue the vandalism spree, a spree that's ultimately hurting the people of this community. They actually set back our our training and our ability to uh, keep uh, our A game going and that the community in itself has a potential of, of suffering from our inability to constantly train. It's still unknown at this time how much repairs are going to cost. That's going to be up to the insurance company to determine. And of course, if you know anything about the person or persons behind these acts of vandalism, call Centerline's Public Safety Department. They want to get these guys off the street before they do more damage. In Centerline, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. All right, Ronnie, thank you.